much. It's a, an honour to be here this afternoon. Something really important is going on right now in New York with all the world's leaders together. In just a few months, in October, COP21 Climate Summit will be happening in Paris. The world's eyes will be looking to see if we can make real change. Uh, the world's leaders need to unite and instead of short-term wins and political strategy, need to adopt long-term um, programs to actually cut the reliance on fossil fuels and to really be more sustainable. All these goals on the walls here can be encapsulated by, I think, the word sustainability. What does sustainability mean? There's many definitions of it. Some say it's about, you know, using green energy, being more energy efficient with technologies we use. But I think it's bigger than that. It's looking after the world for our future generations, and that's key. Now, I've been fascinated by sustainability, by our cities, and how can we make them greener. So I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an innovator, and I'm an engineer. And I had the concept it, five years ago of how can we find new sources of power for our cities. I was working at one of the largest energy companies in Europe and they said to me, Lawrence, make us a solar powered streetlight or maybe one that would be powered by wind. I failed. It wasn't possible to make a solar powered streetlight in cities. So hanging my head in shame, I left that company frustrated with the problem of energy, knowing I wanted to make real change, I set out on my journey to make real impact. Now it started with really, how can we make a new energy source in our cities? How can we make the smart city of the future one where energy is made when and where it's needed? So I created the, the concept for PaveGen, that's a floor tile, as you can see on the screen behind me, that can harness the energy of a human footstep. All you need to do is walk. The energy from every single step can be used. It can be stored in batteries. We can use that energy to power cities, to even feed it back into the grid. So I had this idea. I thought, what if we use it to power lighting? What, what if we could store that energy and we could use it for using it for data in cities, for powering every single street light? What if your walk to work in the morning could power the lights during your walk home in the evening? And thought, what if we could make this concept work? So I sat in my bedroom five years ago. This is me in my bedroom, playing with bits of metal, trying to make this technology real. Everyone said it wouldn't work. The government said it wouldn't work. The, my university said to get it. And my friends told me to go and get a job. But I, I persevered. I knew in my heart this technology was real and could make a real change. So I had the first prototype. I tested it in a school. And the results were amazing. This is what happens. So we made energy fun. The gamification of energy. Is that even a good thing? Now we had to make it really robust. We had to make it work. It's such a hard environment to operate in. So we had to make machines to test it. And we even had to take it underwater. It had to operate at over a meter underwater to withstand the harshest environments known to man. And where can you use this technology? It can be used in offices. It can be used in airports, train stations, schools. Anywhere with lots of people walking, there's an opportunity to harvest energy from them. 
So far, we've taken it to over 150 sites around the world. Recently, we took it to a football pitch in a favela in Brazil. In just two weeks, I go to Nigeria to install something similar. Imagine if you could use the energy of people playing, of, of children playing soccer. Every step they make on the soccer pitch could generate power. So we flew into the favela in Brazil. Here's my team. I quickly recruited when I landed in, in the favela. And we looked at how can we make this happen? How can we make it real? I've got a short video just to show now of, of what happens. So the really interesting thing about this project is we turned the football pitch into a real-life science experiment. We engaged future generations about the potential of what they can do in engineering. No longer do they need to be a professional football player or professional soccer player to leave the favela. They can become an engineer, they can become a scientist, and that whole generation was inspired. Now we worked with Shell to make this happen, and the impact was so significant around the world, it led to many of the biggest media publications writing about it. And then they created this video with Pele of how they can actually change society and make massive impact. So there's another short video to show the impact of what happened. So we've changed the, their lives. All they need to do is play football and they can store their energy in batteries to make huge change. So as I said, we're gonna do it in Nigeria really soon. We're excited about the impact we're gonna have in the Dr. Abote College in Lagos. So that's gonna be the, the next really, really interesting project. I'm gonna skip this one. I'm not sure if it's me doing it or someone there. We'll just skip, we'll skip this. But you can use this anywhere in the world of people walking. So we've got in the heart of Melbourne in Australia, airports in London where 10,000 people a day walk through, and even going into um, offices and you can make it look just like normal flooring. Schools, you can cover the whole corridor in it. So as the children are having fun and walking, all you need is them to move and we can harness that energy. Next, we're gonna be covering just outside the White House in Washington, D.C., in Dewpoint Circle. So using the, the energy of 100,000 people moving every single day, there's real potential for powering the whole lights in a single area. So our vision is we want to take it to every community in the world. So it should be in favelas, it should be in the most developing areas in India, it should be in the most modern streets in the heart of New York. We aim to make it the same price as normal flooring. So everyone can buy it, people can even be given it, and then the energy used can just be from the very people around it. It needs a selection of other technologies as well to work. It needs the next generation of innovators. I really hope the students that we, we worked with in Rio and the ones we're about to work with in Nigeria a part of the next generation of technologies that actually can help address all these goals on the wall right here to make massive macro change in the future. Just keep clicking on one. We've got to make cities 
We've got to make places where people live more resilient and have these energy sources. And we think we play a, a very small part of that energy makeup, but along with many others, that's how we can actually start to address these real climate problems that are actually happening right now that we need to make big change about. Thank you very much.